I've been using the relatively cheap but reliable APC Back 600 for well over a decade now and have three of them in total. This was the first time I witnessed it let out a constant, non-squelchable tone. Any other kind of beeps from this device can be silenced through a tap or two of the power button, but because this time the battery had died, the tone sounded as long as the device was plugged into the wall outlet. I just plugged back in my Mac Mini and plugged in the UPS to the wall. It had run out of battery, I had powered it on and it turned on with a blinking light. Wanting to maintain my sanity, I unplugged the device until I had received the replacement battery. But unbeknownst to me, at around the same time, Harvey bought a pack of UPS replacement batteries and he offered to give me one for this unit. That looks smaller. Uh oh. Oh, it might be. Ah, oh, shit. It's not gonna fit. I knew we were gonna run into some problem. <laughs> Do you want to just take mine? We can hack it. Wait, how? Saw through it? No, no, no. We'll just uh, put it on the outside. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. I brought, I brought my own. <laughs> we can, There's like, no way it fits, glue though. it over here. We can glue it. On the outside, right? Man, I love you, Harvey. <laughs> you always think it outside the box, literally. It looks like this wall, it's just, it's empty. We can cut this wall and make it fit. Yeah, but I have an actual battery that'll probably fit. Okay. Well, it's not a free battery. No, I know. I appreciate it, but it's, it's all good. I can afford the 35 bucks or whatever. Now, you guys may be thinking that this Harvey guy is crazy or at least some kind of troll. But I kid you not, my video editor actually that? did this sort of thing to his UPS when its battery failed. He went above and beyond though and hooked it up to an e-bike battery. So instead of powering his PC for a couple hours, it can now last up to eight. Test voltage. Oh, you do this with every new battery? Yeah, make sure it's not dead before you install it. Nice. Smart. Uh, yeah, 12.9 sounds about right. What is this supposed to be? Yeah, around, like 13.6 is the, the mm. charge voltage. And it's probably <laughs> half charged. Yeah, something like that. So it's probably going to be a reduced amount of voltage output. Yeah, it settles a bit after you charge it. Right, right. It's going to spark probably. You think so? Yeah, they always do, I think. Alright. Yeah, spark. I got three of these. And when I got each of one of these in its original manufacturer's packaging, uh -huh. there was some stickers or some like literature in there saying that warning, careful, it's going to spark initially. First oh. touch it, it'll spark and then, uh, then install it. Oh, okay. If it doesn't beep. It's supposed to do anything? And there's no way to reset it or anything because it's just a blinking light. So doesn't tell you anything. Like, uh, can you plug in something else? Yeah. This is better. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Looks like it's charging. Sweet. Battery's good. All right. Let's call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> so can you turn this thing off? Yeah. Are you holding it? Yeah. That's how I got rid of the beep when it would beep. There's an icon here for silencing it. Uh, even just, just, I thought it was like a tap would do it. Usually it does, I think. If it, Cause I think it would beep, beep, beep like multiple times or something. Uh -huh. And then I would just tap it and it would silence. But now with this one, we'll just, whenever you turn it on, it would just beep when you have this one installed. Uh -huh. So do you actually want to try multimetering this to see why it's beeping with that? Cause it's like not uh, emitting it's, anything. It's not going to tell us much. Like the multimeter will probably say that it's fully charged, but the oh. capacity is probably super dead. And then how can the UPC tell? Stupid! Oh, it does a power on self-test. Yeah, so this one it says like 13.15 volts. It's oh. actually higher charge than this one, which makes sense because this one's him. been charging okay. all the time. But yeah, so you know when you turn it on and then like it's flashing this first few seconds? That's because it's doing the self-test. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah, right after it does the self-test with the previous battery, yeah. we start beeping. You can probably hear relay click when it's done. Yeah, so it's done. Doing self-test. Okay. Do take this home? Yeah, I'll get rid of it. I'll uh, dump it at work or something. <laughs> Battery removal. I'm pretty sure you can get five bucks back for the core. No way, how? It's it's a lead acid battery, so like when you buy a new lead acid battery, you return this core and they give you five dollars. But I have to buy a new one. Yeah, yeah. I already bought one. So did they offer you a core, core refund? No. I got that on Amazon. Documentation. Shipped at your expense? Yeah, that's fuck BS, that, man. man. It costs like 20 bucks to ship. Dude, Rhode Island? Who the fuck is gonna ship it all the way to your to Rhode Island? So there you have it. A relatively dry and bland tale of how UPS started emitting a constant tone, how we determined it to be an expired battery, and replaced it. 
If you found this video helpful, please like it as it really helps the channel pick up steam. Thanks for watching, and see you around.